Well, folks, it's official. Roe versus Wade is dead. Holy crap. Guys, I am just blown away at this decision. So if you don't know, we just had a major court decision. Dobbs versus Jackson and Roe versus Wade and, you know, Casey versus Planned Parenthood. They are both dead. This is a big W that we've been waiting for decades. One of the worst Supreme Court decisions ever in Roe versus Wade is gone. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I am just out. I'm just out of words because people have been waiting years for this grossly incompetent decision to be overturned. And well, it was overturned. Uh, technically a 6-3 decision, but I would say it was more of a 5-3-1 decision. So it is a big W. And of course, the reason that this even happened was because Trump's Supreme Court justice picks voted to overturn Roe versus Wade. So there's been a lot of misconceptions going around about this decision. So... We all look at it because I'm sick and tired of people on the loser right and the left that are saying abortion's banned now. No, it isn't. It's not banned. I wish it was because, again, abortion is just flout genocide. That's what it is, truly. You look at it, I mean, seriously, that's a life and you're murdering it because, oh, I can't take care of him or, oh, I want to have sex. That's their excuse now. It went from... Legal, safe, but rare, or something in that order, to now, oh, we need post-birth abortion. This isn't, I don't know what to say about that. But point is this, this decision does not ban bro, uh, abortion. What it does, however, is kick it back to the states. Now, we in the future, we have to get back to Supreme Court for them to declare when viability is and to actually declare, does the unborn have 14th Amendment protections? Because if they do, yeah, they're getting murdered. So that is what it is. But this decision sends it back to the state. It doesn't ban it or anything like that. A state can, you know, hey, Texas, want to ban abortion? Go ahead. Mississippi, go ahead. Now, you got some states like California and Colorado going way overboard when it comes to this, I mean, Colorado has pretty much a, you know, late term abortion bill and California wants post birth abortion up to a couple weeks. It's like, bruh. But also remember, people support restrictions on abortion. They do not support unfettered abortion. They don't. This nonsense that, oh, well, 55% of Americans are pro-choice. That means jack shit. These pro-choice people, all right, most of them, I would say, when they say that, they mean, hey, a woman has a right to choose to an extent. They don't support, oh, you should be able to abort your child six weeks after, you know, he was born or anything crazy like that. They're like, you know, after, you know, 10, 15 weeks, maybe there should be restrictions or something on that order. And this is what Republicans need to do. And again, I don't want to talk about the electoral consequences, but I have to because the loser right is crying right now. This is a good day and they're crying because, oh, the red wave is gone. No, it isn't. Again, majority of Americans support restrictions on abortion. It's a matter of how much, but they do. It's only like 20% of Americans, according to, you know, Richard Barris, the best pollster in America, that they want basically undefended abortion. But either way, it's not going to affect the red wave, in my opinion. It just isn't, all right? Majority of Americans support restrictions. And plus, the Democrats are having horrendous messaging when it comes to abortion. I mean, they have woman, women that had 12 abortions, you know, speaking like, you need to get an abortion. Nobody likes that stuff. It's nonsense. Absolutely nonsense. So, yes. Will it have some consequences? Potentially. 
Congratulations. We go from winning 245 or 250 in the house to 245 in the house. We like lose five seats. But people seemingly forget. Not only is that going to be, you know, that may be pushing it. Also, the Democrats are going to are already begging people to go in the streets and, you know, riot and burn down shit. Yeah, this may be a net positive at the end of the day. And again, this doesn't ban abortion nationally. In some states, it does. This map may be a bit off, but generally gives you, you know, where it is going to be banned. For example, I think Wisconsin, they have, a, you know, my home state. I'm pretty sure there's a ban on the books. It just needs to be, you know, reinstated or something like that. The point is, it's up to the states now. Now, I want all of these states to eventually deep red, blood red, you know, full on banned because it is murder. But it is a step in the right direction. Now, the thing is this. In the future, we got it. Like I said earlier, we got to get back to the Supreme Court and they have to rule. Rule on the viability, you know, limit. Like, hey, what is viability? Like, when is there, you know, a limit to abortion? And also, are they going to give them 14th Amendment protections? Because if they do, again, that would be considered murder if they, you know, do that. And I know I'm jumping around a little bit. For people that say, oh, well, the red wave is dead. Look at this. Look at this here from Virginia. This is when McAuliffe was running basically exclusively on an orange man and abortion. He was trying to make abortion one of the biggest issues. Well, look at this. 8% of voters said abortion was a big issue or the most important issue facing Virginia. He lost that voter group by 17 so not only is this in Virginia, we had national polls that, you know, they favor Republicans overwhelmingly. And the only Democrats that are going on Twitter, you know, crying about it and like going to riot and stuff, they were already going to vote Democrat. Stop with this garbage that voters care more about abortion than they do about e economics. Again, some voters do, but 99% of the voters in America they realize the economy's dog shit, right? They're going to vote purely on the economy, inflation, etc. Sure, a chunk of them will vote on abortion. But it's like, okay, what be freaking new? Who cares? Even if we don't get 250 in the house, all right? And so we get 246. Again, I said that earlier that that may not even happen. We may get like 255, but whatever. The issue is this, who cares? This is one of the biggest W's we've had in years in the court. Probably, you know, well, outside of the gun case. Probably the first one since 2010. I think that was another gun case or something like that. But this was a good day for conservatism. Again, who cares? I would sacrifice five house seats if it meant millions of unborn can, you know, not be slaughtered like they have for years. So, folks... I hope everybody is having a blessed day. Hope everybody's having a great day because this is a phenomenal victory for the, the conservatives, just for America, for the unborn, for everybody. And those that have been fighting for 50 years, thank you. Thank you for fighting like hell to prevent this murder from continuing. Now, again, you can thank Trump for this. He was called the social liberal, you know, Republican. Well... His three justices are the reason Roe vs. Wade is dead. Anyways, folks, we'll see you guys later today. Godspeed to all of you.